Quintana taking considerable time out of the stretch and Jansen shoots it the to the right field side Pujols to second for one and now Quintana is trying to call for obstruction. He's trying to call for obstruction on the throw if there is no call Espinal scores on an error and we'll see how the umpires sort this one out. And Joe wants to stop and make sure something didn't go wrong with that play. You have to take a look at it because it was an exaggerated slide as Iglesias wasted no time pointing it out to the second base umpire Eric Backus. Yeah, you still have to stay in your lane going towards the bag. And he kicked him. That's yeah. what the play is. He kicked him at second base. About yeah, that's not, it, it didn't look like incidental contact either. He's way outside the bag lane. And we'll see how they. Should be an easy call. I would say. He's not going in direction of the bag right here. He's going out off the bag. Yeah, it's pretty hard to say he's going to be able to reach the base on that one after that. That's a. That's one of those plays where you could be really injured. Severely on that one. Well, that would take a run off the board, and, and we should actually note at this point that here in Dunedin, because this is not officially a season-long big league facility, they had to retrofit this place with replay equipment, and it is not the same replay equipment that exists in the other 30 ballparks, including Rogers Center. For those reasons, managers have an extra amount of time to decide if they're going to challenge, and they get an extra challenge before the seventh inning. So instead of one it's two challenges and they get between 40 and 45 seconds to make that decision because the tech isn't quite what it is elsewhere here. Kitana's point right away is he can't get to that baseball anyhow covering the bag trying to get a three six one double play. Davis had every chance to go straight into that bag which is what you're supposed to do. He veered off. It's going to take a little extra time here for the, the reasons we document. It would take the run off the board. The umpire's way to look it in. All right, we've got one out at least. Jerry Lane's telling us that there's an out somewhere. Okay, this is nice and confusing. Let's look at the bona fide slide rule. There are four criteria. That's all we're looking for right now. Begins his slide before reaching the base. Yes, is able and attempts to reach the base with his hand or foot. We're going to see yes, is able to remain on the base. Yes, and four slides within reach of the base without changing his pathway for the purpose of initiating contact with the fielder. That's the question, but if we backtrack the video up, we see that he's, before he's even sliding, he's on the outside of the base. So he is legally in that path. Remember, the runner establishes their own path. That's why this call is eventually upheld. There is no interference. It's a really tough pill to swallow. If this was a college game or a high school game, that would absolutely be interference. But under the pro rule, this is not interference. What happens next is that Toronto will challenge the neighborhood call at second base, saying the second baseman or the shortstop, middle infielder, never caught the ball with a foot in contact with the base. The foot was off the base by the time that fielder got the ball into the glove. Thus, they go to review for that, and they determine that, you know what? That's right. There was no legal tag by the fielder of second base, so they overturn that. Toronto gets a runner back on second, and the Angels lose their challenge. That sets the stage for what happens the next inning after Toronto scores six more runs. Major League Baseball is already testing a system where umpires are made, and they announce calls like this one for not only broadcasters like us who were guessing but for fans in the ballpark it's been talked about for years the NFL does it that's around the corner we don't have it today unfortunately because we could sure use it tonight yeah I think he's he's safe at second Davis is going back on the field Wow. 2-1 pitch to Ligares, grounded a shortstop. Bichette kicked it, recovers, and still gets Ligares at the bag. That's a pretty strong throwing arm for Bo Bichette. Bobble got on top of that, and a lot on the throw. You got another one, Joe. You got two in seven innings. 
Is he going to use it here? Is it close enough to challenge? Regardless, quickly pointed in, but I, I thought he still got him. Yeah, this is under review. The Angels are going to use another challenge here. <laughs> We're putting this wonky re replay system to work today, aren't we? Why not there, right, Matt? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my on. Now, I will say this, that the force out at first base, guys, is the one that is the most misinterpreted, the most misidentified. And because the verbiage has been adjusted over the years from the league you know we heard ball has to be in the pocket ball has to be entering the glove calls confirmed and that one didn't take long at all the ball has to make contact with the interior of the glove it's not breaking the plane of the glove it's not being in the pocket of the glove and based on that definition yeah Lagares was out by a step just looking at the play live I thought he got him ball in the glove before the foot is down there yeah. Former teammates with the Mets. One gun base is empty now for David Fletcher. David hit a fly ball the other way to right field to open the ball game tonight. Still has not swung and missed. Since striking out on a Dallas Keuchel sinker on Friday, here comes Joe now. Did somebody get tossed? I thought Joe might have. Uh, he had a few choice words, and I think Jerry Lane might have threw out Joe. I'm not sure how how much of a case you can make for yourself with the mask. Joe's doing his best. I mean, there must have been some dugout chirping that we're not privy to that led to that there if in fact Joe's been run. There was. Okay. Between Joe and Jerry. And these two go back many years. It's a long walk. <laughs> He's got to go back to the tent. That's right. Yeah, I mean, there's not even a, a proper clubhouse for him to stew in. This might take a while for him to get there as well, just to make sure they're really <laughs> upset about it as well. I don't I don't feel like Joe got his money's worth there. I mean, he, he could be in the car and be home in an hour. <laughs> 